Oh no, this pie man thing is not looking good. Sorry, I'm 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 also reading about that. Uh what the fuck did he do? Hold on. I did hold on. Let's see. Optimus Prime. Sub to Optimus. What not Optimus Prime? <laughs> That's not Optimus Prime. That would be interesting, though. Pine Man shows exactly why I stay away from 99% of the commentary community at this point. You don't know who these fucking weirdos behind the screen really are. And when you read shit like that, it makes you want to eat a 45 barrel and slam the trigger like a Red Dead ability. Uh... All right, hold on. Here goes, uh, I guess this is Paul Man's conversation. Also, the Russia stuff will be there in a minute. I'll go back to it. Are you genuinely trying to argue with me that you have an IQ of 150 and don't know that the possession of child porn is illegal? Pie Man said, I thought it depended on the contact. Oh, he's pulling a saga on there. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's see here. I'm looking to see. Oh, no. Pie Man apparently tweeted this too at one point. Let's see. Oh no, it's not good. Has Pie Man deleted her account? Oh yeah, they're tranny now. Fucking shit. Let's see. I'm also trying to find. Let's see. Also, let me see. I think there's something on YouTube. They put out a video about me last fall that was just filled with fucking lies everywhere. It was just... That's because the fucking dude's retarded. I don't even think it was necessarily malice. Let me see. Uh, Maybe this will explain it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't usually do this. I don't usually read off um, stuff like this where, um, you know, it's like a twit longer or some shit, or in this case, a uh, nice Google Doc. Um, it's very much a... Uh, the commentary community. I don't know. Who would you say? Like a fucking John Swan type type deal? Or something that like a Turkey Tom would do? You know, like a pyrocynical joint? All right, just read it. Uh, let me adjust this before we jump into the video please do not roast me i say lucci the entire video because that's what it looked like i had no idea that his name was actually lucifer and so who cares goes by lucy but yeah that's what happened i'm sorry it's lucci i'm assuming that's lucci rape cp minor sexting etc often in graphic detail Many of you might know a 17-year-old twitter user slash former small commentator called lucci I got okay. I gotta verify that this kid's name is Lucci because if I go on and I keep fucking saying this guy's Man, name, that motherfucker, am I just gonna have to read it? I think I might just read it. This guy's name, and it's wrong. Who cares? I'm fuck see. You fucked it up. I literally can't tell. Who has? Okay, called Lucci. Let's let's start from the beginning. Fuck. Many of you might know a 17 year old Twitter user slash former content creator named Lucci, who has who has had m many different accounts who has had many different accounts, current one being Satanic Antifa. He also used to go by LMM Skits until a year or so ago. For the last five months, I have developed a close friendship with him. Often, in parentheses, as many as... Uh, this is... Oh, Pie Man wrote this. I can just read this. I don't need to hear this guy. Let me... Um, let me find it, though. This guy has some hooked on phonics I was here. Hold on, let me... I didn't realize if it was written by Pie Man or not. It was. Okay. 
Yeah, Pie Man's one of Augie's buddies. Yeah, that's true. Commentary community, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Let me pull this up over here. I need to make it a little bit bigger. All right. The truth about uh, satanic Antifa, LMM, LMM skits, and Lucy. Many of you might know a 17-year-old Twitter user. See how much better I am at this. It's not even close. Many of you might know a 17-year-old Twitter user slash former small commentator called Lucy who has had many different accounts, current one being satanic, so whatever, satanic Antifa. He also used to go by LMM skits. Until a year or so ago, for the last five months, I've developed a close friendship with him, often as many others did with him too, exchanging nudes and sexting him. Of course, I'm embarrassed to say that. I don't want to make that public, but sadly I have to, to give context to some very disturbing things I found out about Lucy. Like I said, a lot of this is very uncomfortable for me to make public, and some of it shows how I'm a shitty person, but I need to expose him. Lucy has a rape fetish. She is really into rape role play, and he talks about who he wants to rape and which of his friends he would brutally rape given the chance. On its own, while very weird, this was not something to cut ties over, as it seemed to me to be a, all a fantasy for him and not a real urge. I let him talk about raping people when we were sexting, albeit I tried to steer his particular fetish, this particular fetish of his into dirty talk about him raping me, as him talking about raping his, my friends, made me very uncomfortable. Uh, and I'd rather him talk about doing it to me. The red flag came after a poor taste joke I made. After a few, or excuse me, a few days ago, Lucy was, oh, Jesus, was horny talking about raping Grayson, a 14-year-old close friend of his, and I made a joke saying, well, if you want to rape him so much, then let's just go over there and do it. Uh-oh. That's not good to put in text, is it? I often make jokes, I often make jokes when I'm in uncomfortable situations as my friends can attest. I now realize making this joke, no matter the context, was shitty of me, and if you're reading this, I apologize. You know, usually I play the I play the uh, Young and the Restless theme in the, in the background, but I think I might have another one. I think I might have one to play instead for this one. In the background a little bit. It might fit a little bit better. What do you think? All right, there, there he is. She, excuse me. As an average male height of five foot, two inches and a half. Oh, yeah, they're ranting on about my height. I mean, I'm obviously not five one. So this is the this is the height of his uh, commentary here. The fake the fakeness about. The tranny. This is the shit that, that that was promoted on fag farms, breathlessly, and everywhere else as some type of legitimate video. A video by a tranny child <laughs> child molester wannabe that was just false as could be, fake as fuck, and now he's exposed for dealing in child pornography. Okay, well. You know, I didn't see that coming, but I'm not completely surprised. Let's just put it that way. Uh, also, let me pull this out so I can continue reading. Uh, let's see. I near, I now realize my, this is this is the tranny, by the way, the guy on the screen here that, uh, that I'm reading. He wrote this. He realized that making the joke, no matter the context, was shitty of me, and if you're reading this, I apologize, Grayson. Now, this was a joke, as it was absurd to me that Lucy would try to do anything IRL. I still trusted him, and although I thought his fetish was weird, I thought it was just a fantasy in his head. This was not the case. Lucy got really interested in the idea fast. He talked about where they would meet, the dates he could go, how he would try and get away with it, that sort of stuff. He even messaged Grayson about meeting up. Lucy many, many times said to me he was 100% serious about raping Grayson IRL. He was planning to actually rape him in real life. This was too far for me. I was carrying out a gang rape? Yeah, okay. Uh, this and something else, which I'm going to talk about now, were the reasons I decided to gather evidence to expose him. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, he, he DM'd this to Augie afterwards? Yeah. Yeah, he's got Augie running cover for him. That sounds about right. That sounds exactly right! Fucking sick fucks. All right. 
Lucy has a boyfriend that isn't in the community, and he talks about him often with me. The same day he talked to me about raping Grace in IRL, he brought up something disturbing he said he did with his boyfriend. Lucy said that his boyfriend has involuntary age regression sometimes. I don't even know what that is. This means that Lucy's boyfriend involuntarily mentally retreats to a young age. I don't even believe that fucking is a thing, but whatever. Very young, according to Lucy, as a coping mechanism due to stress or prior trauma. That sounds like some shit you would see in a soap opera that, like, it never fucking happens. Many such cases. Yeah, very common. The fuck is that? What the? According to most experts, someone in the process of age regressing often cannot give proper consent and having sexual rela relations with them can be a form of rape. Lucy admitted to me that he manipulates his boyfriend to send images when he is age regressing. Oh, my God. This sounds like these people are mentally insane. He himself also called it rape, getting off to the non-consensual nature as well as how young of a mental state his boyfriend is in slash the age gap. This is insane. Lucy said he's young to the point where he says Dada. What in the fuck is this? What in the fuck is this? God. What did we diverge off into? Fourth hour fund on the screen. We're about to finish. Well, we're getting close to the first hour. Holy fuck. Getting off to raping someone who acts like and has the mental maturity of a toddler was really creepy and gave me pedo vibes. Yeah, I'm getting pedo vibes from the lot of you motherfuckers. Holy shit. Uh, so after this and the Grayson incident, I decided to investigate further. What are you investigating, motherfucker? I mean, investigate. Sounds like you were fucking coordinating, not investigating. While up to then, I'd push back a bit on some of the extreme stuff. You mean the extreme stuff like raping a 14-year-old? I don't even care about fucking dopehead over here. What? I, I don't even know what's going on with the age regression. Who gives a fuck? That just sounds like some, a couple freaks. But, you know, raping a 14-year-old, I guess he's younger too, but what, he's like 17 maybe, 18? I don't know what they say he was. Yeah, he's 17-year-old. Raping anybody doesn't even really matter, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I wanted to investigate just how far Lucy was down the pedo pipeline, and I could not confront him right now directly. So I pretended to be into... Can I put the... Maybe I should put this on the screen, too. Hold on. There we go. Wow, perfect. Just so you can see what I'm reading from here. You can't really read it, but at least it'll be on the screen. We gotta show his tranny mug there though. This is what I'm reading from. Put it up there next to him. Alright. You can't read it. He no, you can't read it. But anyway, you can see it. Now uh let's see. Pretended to be into I pretended to be into whatever he was into to keep his trust and hopefully get enough evidence to catch him, which I ended up doing. One of the first things I did was try to find out just how young he was attracted to. I sent him safe for work pictures of kids from Google Images in decreasing age order and asked him for each one whether he whether he would have sex with them. He stopped at six years old. This is when I knew without a doubt he was a pedophile by the colloquial and scientific definition. Then after that, disturbingly, he kept asking me whether I would want to see a video he had of a 10-year-old being raped by his father, which he had saved. He said that a while back he had messaged a 10-year-old on Snapchat and got a video of him being raped by his now-arrested father. He could recall many details about his interactions with this 10-year-old. After asking me multiple times, I decided to say yes to him sending the video over Discord, but only to report it to the FBI, quote, without telling him. In parentheses. He said the he sent the video and I submitted a tip to the FBI about Lucy having possession of child pornography, using what he sent as evidence and sending them links to Lucy's social medias and all I know about him IRL. Huh. This sounds like a very fantastical type story. Oh. Sure you weren't uh sure you weren't investigating there a little too hard, Pie Man. Huh. 
freak a fucking freak should be in jail somewhere. <laughs> Not even jail. Like honestly, the jails are filled with motherfuckers like him. Just put it. Uh, I won't say. <laughs> Better be careful here. <clears throat> he sent the video. He sent the video. <laughs> now, now, chat. We have to. We have to. Uh, we have to be careful. Oh, this guy called Pantsu a pedo. Yeah, the actual pedo. Well, many such cases. Many such cases. All right, let's see. The, you mean while he was trading videos of 10-year-olds getting raped? Is that what you mean? Yeah, okay. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. That's the Kiwi Farms method. I told you these motherfuckers are pedophiles. I said that the whole time. His video is literally, he started a thread on Kiwi Farms to source his video. He's got He's got an account there. How many others? I'm not kidding, by the way, when I say shit like that. He then sub he sent the video and I submitted a tip to the FBI about Lucy having possession of child pornography, using what he sent as evidence and sending them links to Lucy's social medias and all I know about him IRL. As soon as I did that, I asked Lucy to delete the video off Discord, which he did. Yeah, this dude's a pedo, without a doubt. Pack watch on these hoes. How many times have I told you guys? Every fucking time. Dude, there's some kind of fucking, I don't know, dude. There's some type of fucking black magic curse on motherfuckers that go against me. I, I don't understand it, really, but this is Pie Man. Remember he made that fucking bullshit-ass documentary, quote-unquote? Um, I mean, most of it's about me because, you know, I sell tickets. I'm fucking, I'm the boss. and But, you know, he talks about some other people in there, too. And it talks about Nick Fuentes. It's mostly about me. If you notice, he whitewashes, washes the balls of everybody else except me and Nick Fuentes. So Nick has a big piece right here for like 45 minutes. And then I have a, like an hour. I don't even know. <laughs> I still haven't watched my section. But I saw some clips and I'm just like, this is not true. And then, of course, he never corrected anything because he's a fucking dumb tranny. So... Now, let's see here. Let's go back to his investing world's greatest detective over here. Lucy also, this is him talking. She is what they say. By the way, the, the commentary community is big on respecting pronouns because they're a bunch of fags. I mean, let's just be real. Lucy also said he used to have more videos, photos of young children, but he deleted them out of fear. I also asked Lucy that even though he was into kids as young as seven, that what what was the youngest he would rape? Lucy said he would rape a 12-year-old if he was guaranteed not to get caught and that he had groped some at his school in the past. I could have exposed him then, but at that point in time, I deleted the screenshots I had as I'd already sent a tip to the FBI and Lucy had potential blackmail on me. You see, Lucy doesn't just sex me. He sex quite a lot of people, including some of my friends. What the fuck? Sick fucks. From a few months back, Lucy had been offering to send me images of my friends, many different friends, from when they had sexted him. Oh, wow. I said yes in almost every instance. However, I never saved any image as Lucy deleted them from Discord as soon as I was done with them. Done with them. So you jacked off to nude images of your friends, quote-unquote, and got them without the knowledge of of them. They didn't send them to you. What the what in the world? This is the pie man method. Wow. Yeah, that's why I'm not gonna DM him. I don't give a fuck about Aiden. He can suck my dick too, for all I'm concerned. <laughs> Somebody's like, he won't be friendly to you if you do DM about it. I don't give a fuck. I don't need to cooperate with any of these fuckers to just read these fucking weird shit on there. I can still pull up, what's he going to stop me from pulling up his tweets? I don't think so. I think the whole commentary community is fucking cancerous. I think it's fucking satanic. 
pedophilic. I think it should be brought down. I think it's just emblematic of the whole fucking sickness online. That's what I think. So, yeah. The fag Minko sphere. Yeah, that, that's a good way to describe it. <laughs> that's a great way to describe it. Yeah, call in. Do you know something? Yeah, please. <laughs> see. All right, let's see if if he jumps in. Yeah, go ahead. And they're so dumb too. Like their arguments are just so, they never make any sense what they're saying. Never. And they talk about research and documentaries and all this, and it's always just the most basic shit wrong. All the time, on every fucking topic. It's like, okay, you guys suck. Let me see here. So, when we left this read-through, when we left this read-through, he had just admitted to dealing in the nude photographs uh, of his friends, getting them from this pedophile. He's a pedophile too, in my opinion. But well, let's let Avon. Are you here? Can you hear me, sir? There you go. What's up, Ralph? What's up, man? You sound kind of far away. Is that is that how it's supposed to sound? No, no. I just gotta adjust my mic. Is this any better? Yeah, it's a little bit better there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. How's it going, man? What the fuck is going on with this shit now? Well, I'm trying to wrap my brain around it, but uh, so Pie Man, who is like a shitty commentary community member, um, who is also a di- born a dude, obviously, but now claims to be a female tranny female. Uh, they're, they're, so, dude. Right. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, there they are on the screen. I don't know if, if there's any more. You know, if they're getting pictures of them in a the dress or what have you. But uh, anyway, so they were having an online relationship with um uh, this guy who had a 17 year old who had a rape fetish uh I like to talk about raping people and then this is from according to pie man here the tranny uh according to them they slowly began to learn that uh they were attracted to children um, going so far as they even would rape children, et cetera. And so as part of their investigation, Pie Man was determined to out this person, of course. <laughs> part of their investigation, uh, they they were given, uh, you know, videos of a 10-year-old being raped and et cetera, et cetera. Now, they're saying they were doing this just to, just to bust the pedophile, you see, Avon, despite the fact that even by their own admission, there are many instances where they interacted with this 17-year-old, Lucy is the name, uh, and got pictures that he had obtained of their common friends, nude pictures, nude photographs and uh they pleasured themselves to those photographs uh and presumably there's a lot of bad evidence like that against pie man so if you were a fellow pedophile fellow traveler and you knew that this information might be coming out avon what you might do what you could do is construct a false story where you were actually all along just trying to bust the pedophiles and you had nothing to do with this. And what you think you see here uh, in cold, hard text and screenshots, uh, what you think are, are pedophilic actions and, and encouragement and participation are actually the, the work of, of, of the world's greatest detective. Yeah, no, you took the words out of my mouth. I was reading the twit longer right before I hopped in the green room. And this reads like somebody who knew the fucking hammer was coming down. You're, uh, you're a disgusting degenerate and you were doing this shit with your friend. You were likely into it. What, what do you mean an investigation? So I went on Google and I sent you pictures of young kids and then I accepted a video of CP what because I'm fucking Sherlock Holmes get the fuck (laughs) out of here this degenerate sack of shit was a willing participant in whatever fucking degenerate uh, age play tranny bullshit these faggots were doing he was 100% complicit there's no way any reasonable person would read this fucking twit longer and think this guy is the good guy doing an investigation it makes no fucking sense and what you needed the video for what you can just tip off the fbi say hey right. look, i got these fucking messages from this big fucking weirdo maybe go look into it you wanted the video because you wanted to look at it you lying fucking cocksucker 
again, yeah. And it just so happens that you were working on an investigation and what we think we see isn't what we see. Where's all the screenshots from? First off, I'm not buying into this regardless, but you know, where's the paper trail? Where are the screenshots of you reporting it to the FBI? Where, you know, down the line, First off, never, there's never any excuse to attempt with this guy. Even if you believe what he's saying, which I don't at all, there would never be any excuse uh, to, to to attempt some shit like this. But second off, it's a very flimsy what he's saying. He's, You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing there. All right, let me also, I guess this is what he said on Twitter. I stopped after that, and I'm going to apologize to each person personally. I fucked up, but I need to have a second chance, please. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Uh, well, you know what? He's over there in the you know certain sphere. It might be okay. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I stay away from that side of the internet. Uh, yeah. I was never a huge commentary guy uh, for this reason. There always seems to be some weird shit coming out of that side of the internet, um, some shit that I just want to not be in the same room with, to be in the same country with. And it's not always stuff like this, but I mean, you know, a lot of furries and tranny stuff and just unsettling degenerate shit that I have, I have no desire to be around. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this, this shit really just reads like somebody who uh, is into this thing and they just knew that, you know, oh fuck, this is going to get out. I got to get ahead of it, right? Uh, you need another chance. You're already guilty before this whole situation by fucking being in a situation where you're dating some fucking weirdo on Discord and exchanging fucking nudes with them and talking about fucking raping people. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dude, I... <laughs> Right, and also, like, the circle of friends were just exchanging nudes with each other. Like, what is going on here, too? Um, okay, yeah, I don't know. I, I got friends on Discord. I spend a lot of time on Discord. I have not had any of my <laughs> friends fucking send me nudes. None of none of the people in Chill Stream talk about this stupid fucking shit, uh, this degenerate, disgusting shit. Uh, when you, this is the problem: is is people find their ways into fucking that side of things, and they get deep into it like it's some fucking thing that you should be doing. Uh, I don't know, dude. I spend a lot of time on Discord. I know this type of shit goes on on other servers, but it still boggles my mind when I see it come out in fucking public that this shit is really going on, man. It fucking bugs me out, Ralph. Also, you know what? I just now noticed that I never fucking changed the title from yesterday. What the fuck? Go ahead. Anonymous sent $3, Avon. You in the bathroom. Get some sound dampening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm awful with sound. I'm using a, uh, an actual mic with headphones and stuff. I'm trying to get my audio right, but I'm a boomer. Um, who do you, well, maybe I am taking a shit. What, what is it you been <laughs> What are you on you some pot man shit? All right, now let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's read that. This thing is bizarre. Um, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Okay. I felt and still feel extremely embarrassed and shitty for doing that. That is, uh, jacking off to his friends nudes without their knowledge. The stuff <laughs> I did was horrible and I was a terrible friend to so many for doing it. I'm really sorry. And I can't apologize enough. I understand this might ruin friendships and honestly, it's quite justifiable due to how shitty I've been, but it's true that I feel nothing but remorse for my actions. Yeah, of course. This getting out was the reason I didn't come up with the stuff I knew about Lucy, bef Lucy beforehand as he knew all this about me as he supplied me with the pictures and videos. However, soon after, uh, I realized that this was bigger than me and I needed to expose Lucy for being a pedophile rapist. Well, to be fair, uh, you know, that was your boyfriend, the pedophile rap rapist. And second off, I, I don't, I mean, look, it sounds like he plans to be a rapist if all that's true. I mean, I don't know that he, has he raped anybody for sure. I don't know. I'm not willing to. I don't think it's unfair to speculate. Well, I mean, I, that's true, but it's look at who's stolen that out there, though, right? It's like, okay. You no, know, for, I mean, for both of them. I sure. wouldn't be surprised if the guy writing this fucking, this pie guy, has been involved in some degenerate shit like well, that, no, too. Well, no, know, Forcing themselves on, on, on people. I think that's a reasonable speculation based on the shit that he was doing behind closed doors. Well, how did he get court. the name Pie Man? What do you, where do you think that that, uh... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. I don't want to think about that, man. That's disgusting. Well, I mean, it's a very specific, uh, you know... Could he be talking about apple name. pies, maybe? Or right, well, I'm thinking... Thing? I, I'm just wondering because, like, I always thought that was a, a weird moniker there, and, and now I'm thinking maybe there's a little something, maybe, you know, something behind that. I don't, I don't know. All right, now, let me... <laughs> Where is the, where's my uh, read through here? Okay. 
needed to expose Lucy for being a pedophile rapist before I plan to collect the last the last of the evidence slash admissions I wanted to warn Grayson to not meet with Lucy IRL like he had planned I DM, DM'd him to back out of the arrangement carefully telling him not to alert Lucy to the fact I said had said this to him because I still needed his trust for a full final confession I already knew it was all true but having a confession in one message would be way better and easier however if there's one thing you can't rely on Grayson for it's keeping his mouth shut Grayson ended up leaking our DMs with Lucy and he started to panic, realizing I had been tricking him. I still attempted to keep some trust and pretend to still want to be his friend, best friend and stuff, saying things like I wouldn't reveal anything else or that I kept my DMs with Grayson a secret because I like seeing him happy talk about raping a 14-year-old. I did this in the hope that I could still get a full confession. Below is a video of my filming my screen proving his admission to wanting to rape Grayson and to touch younger people. In the video below, Lucy admits he had illegal material and that he deleted it. He is also clearly very scared of the FBI report. Uh, let's see. I would be too if I was doing this type of fucking shit. I think what the fuck is wrong with you people? Of it too. What is this? I, I, I wanted to warn Grayson not to meet with Lucy Ira like he planned. First of all, what are you talking to a 14-year-old for, for any reason? Second of all, oh, I couldn't keep the, I couldn't rely on the 14 year old to keep his mouth shut. No fucking shit. How is that surprising news? I don't know. These people are sick, dude. Holy fuck. What kind of mentality do you have that you even would want a 14 year old to keep his mouth shut about something like this? Why do you even need to talk to the 14 year old? You have more than enough evidence in messages. You didn't go to the, the police. Video. You don't need the video to report the guy. The messages are enough. Um, there's no fucking way this person wasn't complicit in this. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, and this is me speculating, but I wouldn't be surprised if these two were sending fucking CP back and forth to each other, sure. and this guy just decided to go ahead and dime on, you know, his fucking boyfriend so he could take the fall, and this guy could try to disappear and get out of fucking Dodge. That's exactly what I think. <laughs> That's exactly what I think. This dude knew the hammer was coming down eventually and decided to drop dime on this other guy, maybe even with his cooperation. Who knows, you know, I mean, what the fuck. Uh, maybe even with his cooperation. He's like a commentary community guy, too. Who knows? Honestly, who knows with these fuckers? I'm not even, like, I'm, I wouldn't rule anything out. Uh, here we go. As seen above, Lucy admits to everything which he was saying in the days prior. A few hours after this, when he got back from work, Lucy suddenly changed his story saying that everything he has said about wanting to fuck children as young as seven was actually a lie and that the video he sent of a 10-year-old being raped by his dad was actually just a video he found off a rape video site that looked like it was a young boy being raped, but it wasn't. This doesn't explain why Lucy said he deleted all illegal material and why he was scared of the FBI investigating him, however. Also, you're supposed to put the however at the beginning, retard, fucking dumbass. <laughs> fucking moron also lucy lucy later changed his story about grayson multiple times this should be a period here but not a comma but i believe his story now is that he couldn't have planned to rape him because he doesn't have a driver's license but you can decide the veracity of his story for yourself i later called lucy for a while as well but it didn't resolve much as most of it was him talking about his personal life and how terrible it would be if i exposed him so yeah in short lucy is a rapist likely pedophile and it sickens me that someone i consider to be my friend for almost two years was someone this deplorable oh who could have imagined who could have imagined that this fucking tranny i hang out with that i date on discord that i fucking jack off to fucking underage kids nudes that we're friends with that go back and forth who would have thought this guy's a fucking degenerate i'm so fucking surprised Get the fuck out of here. I'm simply perplexed that this could have happened. Uh, by the <laughs> way, uh, go. But I'm thinking, I think Cash App, I'm trying to accept. Uh, yeah, it went through. Thank you, Jay, over on Cash App. I'll add that to the tally uh, that came in a minute ago. So we're, we're getting a little bit closer there uh, as we approach halfway through. This story just came in, and honestly, I couldn't help but uh, jump right on it because it's one of these retards and... Black Phillips sent $3 Aiden the market is all red and they blame it on Ukraine. Yeah. Is it time to invest in defense stocks again like 2003? Also PTLR is cratering. Odd for an actual glowy op. CNBC says to short Philip Morris because Russians and Ukrainians are 10% of sales. Well, I mean, dude, that's that, that's a lot of information at once. Yes, the market is red. We talked about on the, that on the bull stream uh, this uh, this Sunday that I expected SPY to test the 427 today based on futures. Right now, it's at 428.76. Um, I wouldn't go long on anything right now. 
um, as, as it relates to investing into anything, uh, defense stocks, uh, you know, shorting might be a good idea. Shorting is tough. Don't fuck with it unless you've got a good strategy. Uh, but longing shit right now is not a good idea. Uh, these rallies are not to be trusted. Um, I, I talked to somebody yesterday uh, that I, that's an institutional guy. Um, wouldn't call him a close friend, but an acquaintance. Uh, he's telling me 3,700 is, is baked into the SPX, uh, which is the, you know, the, the chart for SPY. Uh, so he's well, he's thinking, and I've seen this in other places too, that we're going to test the January lows. Uh, so I would wait to see if that happens before I go long on anything. Um, day trades, volatility scalps, that's the way to do it. Um, you know, work on your execution and shit like this and go small. Uh, my ass bungled the fucking trade this morning. That's why I'm all fucking pissed and I'm all hot under the collar. Um, so just, I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go long on anything. I would just keep an eye on things. Uh, you watch the levels. We go over the, uh, we go over the index charts every week on the bull stream. And hey, if you want to fucking call in and talk about what your thoughts are, drop some charts that you've been looking at. We can analyze them and we'll go from there. But I don't want to cut into uh, to too oh, much. No, of it's fine. With, with no, no, shit. it's fine. We'll get back to the, to the sick shit. We always do. Uh, <laughs> uh, no need, no, no worries there. If people want to uh, call in or or send a, a market question, I'm fine with that too. Um, also, I'm loading up the podcast right now from last night. Lord Miles Rutledge, uh, very cool dude. I'm going to talk to him uh, again this afternoon. Uh, last night, uh, I didn't get to talk right after the show, uh, and he's going to fill me in. On, I can't tell everybody, but he's going to tell me where he's going. Uh, and we're going to talk to him when he gets back uh, from his trip as well. I have a feeling it's going to be wild. I have no clue where it is, by the way, uh, but uh, we'll hear from him soon. Also, I'm looking, uh, where's the pie man? Okay, did I have this up? There's a video somewhere. Hold on. Not that kind of video, thankfully. I'm not pie man. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm trying to... I guess this dude, who's one of Augie's buddies, um, put him on the, um, like recorded him or some shit. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Is there a longer record too? The podcast just got put up, by the way. Should be up pretty soon. Like 10 minutes. One more thing. By the way, um, the last time, like, the thing with my friend's nudes happened was, like, a while ago, like, a, f a couple weeks ago. So, it's not, you know... That was a couple weeks like, ago? Yeah. Like, the last time it happened. The last time it happened was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So, this doesn't sound like the confident voice of a truth teller. It sounds like the shaky voice of a fucking soy faggot. Doesn't know what the fuck he is. I'd have to agree. Let's start again from the top. Wait, 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 one more thing. By the way, um, the last time, like, the thing with my friend's nudes happened was, like, a while ago, like, a, f a couple weeks ago. So it's not, you know. That was a couple weeks like, ago? Yeah. Like, the last time it happened. The last time it happened was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So why didn't you just expose him then? Because that was just him, like, sending... No, 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 that was him, like, sending nudes of my friends to me, and, um, you know... Is that not what the At that point... Them? Well, <laughs> I mean, first of all, it would have exposed me, too, and I, I you know, I at, th at that point of time, I didn't, you know... I didn't want that to stop. You didn't want even that though to after stop? I, at the time, like, even though, I, even though I had a... You know, I felt terrible over it... I, you know, I mean, there's a, there's a reason it happened like three times. It didn't just happen once. What? Okay, I see what you're saying. So, you, so you, like at that time, you you kind of you still part of you still wanted it to continue. Yeah. Okay. Ew. Um, <laughs> I wonder which part of it was Avon. <laughs> Every fucking part. Every single part. Every fiber of this disgusting fucking faggot's being is the part that wanted to continue with this shit. Fucking sick motherfuckers. What in the world? Imagine my shock. Some fucking trannies and the kids. Who would have thought, Ralph? <sighs> Shocking. All right. Well, yeah. I honestly, dude, like, as I said, I don't think you're, I don't think you're being malicious. Um... But yeah, I just, I'd really... Well, you sound like a fucking dumbass then. Just consider, like, 
what happened and maybe take a break. They're running cover for this guy. Don't let him fool you, by the way. They they like to do this in the commentary community. They'll they'll come out. He'll take a bunch of shit today, and then it's like, oh, you need to learn from this. It's like, okay, no, nah, you're perfect. You're protecting your buddy who's a pedophile. That's that's what I, that's what my view is. It certainly uh, seems very soft. He's softballing him a lot of shit, right? It seems like so? he's leading him into a narrative that yeah. would make him, uh, which would, would attempt to make him sympathetic. No, that's right. It seems like they already have the the narrative cooked up, and it's like here, lead him down this path. Yeah, he'll take a lot of shit today, and I'm like, oh, how could you? Da, da, da. But you'll notice how soft it is compared to what I just sit here and said. It's obvious that he concocted this story uh, to cover up for his own misdeeds. He admits to many of them there. How much? further do you think it goes i think it goes quite further um and it's just anybody else if this was any imagine this was one of their enemies or somebody who wasn't in their clique i mean it would be you know open season uh look at what they they what it was a technical some other people they they tried to smear like that uh on a, on much flimsier stuff than what this guy's all about what do you what do you mean this light questioning this guy should maybe be down at the precinct yeah I, I mean, uh, how do you not report? I, I don't understand. How do you not hang the phone up? As soon as you know what's going on, what is this? I, you know, I want to talk to him, figure out more. There's nothing that you need to figure out. It's just, okay, guys fucking with kids, turn them in. That's it. That's the thought process of a normal human being. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, you were so scared about the kids or worried for what he might do. Well, go to the police. Oh, I sent the FBI an anonymous tip or some shit. Like, what? Oh, why do you want to be anonymous? If I'm turning in a fucking pedo who's doing this shit, I, w I, I want it to be known. Yeah, I'm turning this fucking guy in. Why do I need to hide my name, right? This shit is... Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing. Well, he was... Uh, this guy's not being honest with his involvement uh, no. and what he feared about his own prosecution and, and perhaps criminal activity. There's just no way. It doesn't add up at all. You hear how he's talking. He's all mealy-mouthed. He's not confident with what he's saying. Of course, he's not on camera, but I think if he was on camera, you'd see a lot more tells uh, in terms of, you know, being a liar. Um, but, again, I, and we'll see. I'm sure this thing is going to – they can't help themselves, so they're going to try to spin this into something. Somebody will have to be – like we saw this guy. Let's see. Who is this clown, by the way? I don't know who this guy is. Um, this Hassan Piker's little brother here. <laughs> uh, no, he he read through. Did I ever did I finish reading through the whole thing? I think I did, right? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay, I was just making sure I got the twelve. Oh, the twelve longer. Yeah, you got yeah, the end of that. Yeah, I was just making sure. Okay, uh, let's see if he says anything at the end. Okay, I think he does. Jesus Christ! All right, let's open this. See what the fuck this is. Um, okay, this right. Wait, it's just him recording the screen. I don't really care. All right, let's see. Promise not to say things. Uh, okay, this is this is all cringe. Um, <laughs> I, I take it back. I like this guy. Like, <laughs> I'll uh, put the links <laughs> probably in like my bio or some shit. Um, Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, this is fucked. That's well, true, I'll Mark. Drop this like unedited, pretty much. What the fuck did I just read? Um, yeah, I don't know any of these characters. I've just read it. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just like fucking start spazzing this thing on Twitter. So, if people who don't want to read it themselves can read it. And they can just watch my video, I guess. Anyways, it's fucked up that it took me twenty minutes to write to read less than three pages. That is that is a sign that I need to work on my reading skills. Jesus Christ. Still better than Andy Worski. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't even know what to say. So, I'm just going to end the video. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. There's Pie Man. I never understood. Is this, the, like, what, what being a tranny is these days? What did it see? I think it would always was what being a tranny is. Uh, you go around and you touch kids uh, any way you can. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, dude. I'm 
I'm sorry, bro. I mean, listen, I was, we've had this conversation in person. Yeah, I was, I was left leaning many years back. Right. And I, I stick to the, the, the point that I didn't change the goalposts was moved. However, I was one of those guys who was like, yeah, if, you know, faggots want to get married. What do I care? Right. Uh, I used to say, well, yeah, yeah. they want to get married. Let them be miserable like the rest of us. Yeah. But, but when the tranny shit started coming around is exactly when I started saying, wait a minute now. It's a little too much, right? These, these these trans want to get around children by any means necessary. Story times, uh, teaching. Why is it that they always seem to want to gravitate towards children? Why? It seems like that's the name. Like that's the object of the game. It is. I'm sorry. The tranny shit gets me upset. That's why I fucking get all emotional behind it and I start ranting. Well, I said this on air before, but I remember I was like you, and I was like, "Who cares? Gays want to get married. I don't give a fuck." Um, and I, I really, you know, and I don't really, but you know, I remember I used to scoff at the slippery slope argument and they'll be trying to marry dogs. I'll be trying to fuck dogs. I'll be trying. And I remember seeing this and you know, I was like, okay, you're sick. Fuck. Like, what are you talking about? Like, of course that's not going to happen. Yeah. That's ludicrous. Course, that that can never mean? happen in a normal Crazy. reality. Right. I thought yeah. the same thing. Crazy conservative dude, what are you talking about? Or crazy, you know, family first conference or whatever. You're like, okay, all right. Uh, Tony Perkins is out here saying some wild shit. I still don't like Tony Perkins, let's be clear. But, you know, you have to give, <laughs> have to give people some credit when they're right. Uh, and it was a slippery slope. And it was one of those things where it's like, okay, you know what? Civil unions is probably as far as we needed to go on that uh, for good reason. And so... I don't know. Um, it would it just open the Pandora's box to just complete faggotry everywhere. And I'll let you respond. The God Emperor sent $5 for the another tranny was a pedo jar. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking jar is overflowing. That motherfucker is busting at the seams. Uh, that's a motherfucker. Uh, what do you call it? The, the, the water cooler fucking jar. Right? Yeah. One of them motherfuckers. <laughs> But, you know, yeah, and I mean, I admit I was one of those people. I feel like a lot of people were. I was like, yeah, I don't care. And I remember being like, well, they they can't make them get married in a church. It's just down at the, you know, it's just in the yeah, beach. City Hall. Yeah, right, which, you know, uh, it went from that to, oh, let's sue this bakery because they're not fucking baking cookies the way I want or, you know what I mean, for my fucking gay wedding or you're not doing this or trannies have to be called by their pronouns or you're getting banned on Twitter for calling a man a man and sorry you have to let your daughter get defeated by 30 laps by fucking, you know, Bob, <laughs> who's who's a woman this week. Uh, yeah, and it, <laughs> You have to respect uh, gender fluidity, right? They, they can be a woman one day and a man the next. That's another one that we were laughing about the other day. The shit is fucking absurd, Avon, and it started with gay marriage. It did, and it, it is absurd, and it did start with gay marriage. And I'll tell you, uh, the cake thing you mentioned was one of the was kind of one of the starts, right? Where it was like, well, they're pushing into something that most people would feel unreasonable. My, my wife at the time uh, was was way left. I mean, even further left than I ever was, uh, and she thought it was this great thing that right. this business is getting persecuted and that they're trying to force them to make these people a cake. I said, who the fuck cares? The, the point of having a business in a free market is that I can say, no, I don't want to. Fucking sell to you for whatever reason, whatever reason I want. It doesn't matter. You can walk in the fucking uh, the door of my shop, and I don't like the look on your face, and I don't have to serve you because this is America, and that's how businesses run. Um, so I wasn't okay with that to begin with, you know. And well, it did. It you did know, go down from there. It really did. The you know the the libertarian argument would be it went down from the <laughs> Civil Rights Act basically from there uh, <laughs> because uh, you know that would be their argument that well you know if you don't want to serve the black people uh, that that would be cool as well um, but you know and once you make that law it's like okay well what other classes can you um, do you have to respect I mean it. In reality, that is a, kind of the true argument, to be real, because it does start to open it up. It's like, okay, well, you don't actually run a private business where you can decide who comes and who goes and who does business there. Yeah, um, absolutely. See, I think it's bad. I, I think it's bad for business to turn people away. Like, it, it, it should be. You're right, and I'm sorry, man. A lot of people are gonna think this is a shitty take, but I'm a capitalist first, and capitalism comes before all of my politics. I'm always about money. I'm always about business. If I don't want to serve you because you're black, that should be my right. Now it's dumb because I'm turning away a big portion of business. It's bad for business to act like that. But no one should be forcing me as a business owner to do business with anyone I don't want for any fucking reason. That's it. You wouldn't, would you want to do business with Pie Man here? Do you think uh, you should be able to refuse his business? 
No, 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 man. What if he I'm, came I'm a, trying listen, to sell I'm you some hard drives? You know, what if he, guy's wait, wait. Bucket- is the next guy's book, but I cut it at fucking Wait, kids. What if he and, came and, to you with an insane, never before seen low, low price deal on hard drives? <laughs> what would you and other storage, storable media? What would you do? I mean, would you? I, I wouldn't touch those hard drives with your hands, bro. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, I think that might be one you want to pass up on. I can imagine he's probably got some deals that you've never, never seen before, but uh, you might want to lay off. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.